Good morning, everybody. Oh, I sound like Batman. Um, it's day 96 of our hitchhiking diary, and we were now starting to do it a little bit different because we sh I think we've been doing too many videos with two little highlights. Um, we only got like six views on the last video, so I think we need to change something. So from now on, we will like do two days per week where we actually take you with us on a very energetic hitchhiking diary. Um, and the other days we'll probably just quickly sum up, like here. After getting some proper rest at our couch surfing hostess place, we started discovering Armenia's capital city, Yerevan. After that, we got picked up by a two-week-old puppy and his owner, who brought us to a famous monastery nearby and afterwards invited us to their home. And yeah, then maybe if there's some other highlights, then we'll do that as well. But today, that's gonna be the hitchhiking diary. So we are currently here on this beautiful farm. You have cherries, strawberries, raspberries, um, mulberries, apricots that are being dried here i don't know why not all the animals eat them i mean there's a few bees and everything but i thought that the ants will just completely eat them and then you have this here as well um i don't know how to explain it in english but they smash the apricots and the strawberries and the raspberries and now they'll have this delicious sweet and the highlight is just coming over there hello, hello. He's following me everywhere I go and I will show you the garden now. We actually wanted to pitch our tent here but they said no, 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 it's too cold, it's too cold. So we could sleep in the amazing house and had a comfortable bed and we are very ready to hit the road now. We'll take you with us. It's not going to be a one day hitchhiking um, vlog. I think we will take you with us until we hit the Iranian border. It's still quite far from here and not many people take that way, but I'm very curious about how, how it's gonna be. So, welcome. But before that, you need to check out the world's coolest toilet. So if you wanna take a dump, wow, you have an amazing view <laughs> on the canyon here. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the bees, but there's tons here and they have the best honey. Hey. And from their garden, you can see Ararat mountain. I will zoom in, it's gonna be bad, but here, this is the mountain top of the highest mountain in Turkey, 5,000 meters. They are completely self-sufficient here. They're just trading some honey and some apricots for other stuff, meat and bread. And yeah, that's quite a role model of what we want to achieve one day. And now we are having breakfast. It's so nice. We love it here. <laughs> 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 now we found a ride to a junction here not a lot of traffic because we do not want to go back to Yerevan Yerevan in general was not very cool either in my opinion the, the genocide museum was quite interesting apart from that there's not that much to see we'll now go south um, there's a few more monasteries that we want to check out the next one is Korbirab, very famous one and yeah let's see how long it takes us to get there Kenya is the place of Lots of corruption. No, lots of corruption. No, no. <laughs> so the last ride dropped us completely in the wrong direction. I thought that they understand what we were saying, where we want to go, but they didn't understand. So now we were helped by the next driver here. Now we got a direct ride to our destination, and they have so much of the sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds, yeah. I forgot the word. <laughs> Alright, got us some sugar! 
So we have just arrived in Korvirab and, and there are so many Alex wants a magnet. How much? 1000. <laughs> 1000 for the magnet, that's insane. In, in Turkey, in comparison, it was like 200. Um, I think we won't get a magnet here in, in Armenia. Um, what did I want to say? We left our heavy backpacks at the parking lot and now we'll go up to the monastery. And I already saw that there's an amazing view on Ararat mountain. Today and the view on the mountain yeah. is actually so good. Well, compared to Yerevan where it's just super dry, there's a crazy humidity in the air here. Feels like we're somewhere in the jungle. Right, I don't know how many, but we always just go for a couple of kilometers, then stop. I think the last one was not even a kilometer. No. And it's, I don't know, we get so many presents here that our backpacks just get heavier and heavier. So now we have to start rejecting food. Okay, so we actually wanted to make a break and eat some cherries Egg. and apricots, but um, these guys here. <laughs> they told us to come in their car even though you can see there's not too much space um, but they're going 70 kilometers and this is a rare occasion where we can be in the car for over an hour so we had to grab it we just complained to you that we just have two kilometer rides every day so <laughs> we had to go for it and now we're buying some watermelon i hope it's not going to be a present because i do not want to carry it <laughs> And these legends from Russia, Stavropol, um, they explained us some stuff. <laughs> I wanted to say that we're only one kilometer away from the Azerbaijani border from Nakchivan. Um, and that these guys, they're so friendly and everything, but still all Russian people have such a bad reputation because of the war, which is super mean to generalize because these guys are super friendly. Since it's a very holy place, you must not show any knees. And Alex loves to show her knees, so I now we got a, cool. a skirt here. Okay, Little lunch break now, and we'll continue soon. Monastery is somewhere up there. And we were just gifted a lot of sweets, which is awesome, but also this mug. a mug. So we don't quite know where it could fit in our backpack. <laughs> oh, it and has a rose. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll probably gift it to the next very nice Armenian guy. <laughs> All the sweets and everything were awesome, but look the daughter, this. she's super talented and she painted us. I like it. I don't look very fat here. That's nice. Beautiful. And the attention to detail. I don't know how long she has seen us, but there is like this band. <laughs> like this band. I don't know. Amazing. Thank you very much. It's now 5 p.m. and we made a quick stop at the river. It's not very deep, it's reasonably clean, and so are we now. And we are happy about it. Yay! <laughs> so, we just said that there's quite a bunch of Iranian trucks. You know by now that we have a bad past with the Iranian truck drivers. But we want to give them a second chance. And on top, the way towards Iran is exactly the one that we wanted to go today. So, if we're lucky and he's actually going to Iran, um, we have the next couple of hours with him. And if he's friendly, he'll get a nice mug. <laughs> Whew. If not, I'm already taking a picture of the license plate. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You are from Iran? Oh, Iran. Where are you going? Nereye gidiyorsun? Iran, Kurdistan. Kurdistan? Oi! <laughs> Germany, Spain, Sweden, Canada. Wow. wow. The 
this truck, even though it's very modern, is still not very fast. We're going around, but it's also really the fault of the roads here. They're terrible and we just went up a huge mountain pass and gifted the mug to our nice Iranian driver here. And yeah, he was very happy. He only had a glass like this and he always burned his fingers. So I'm sure that he will be a lot happier than I hope so. we are now. <laughs> Very funny, these um, sunflower seeds here, um, they are very famous in, I don't know, in Austria I don't think they are, but from Turkey eastwards they are very famous and these guys, they can eat it so fast, they are like doing hats and they eat it and when I eat it, it's like huh? and in the end I just eat the wood, I just eat the outer layer because the, the, the actual seed falls somewhere on the floor and whenever people see me eating it, they laugh at me. And now I just gave up and I always just eat the whole thing because there's no point. I'm not really patient enough, I guess. We are cruising almost 140 down the hill. Yes, trucks are slow when going up, but once they go down, there's nothing that can stop them. <laughs> can you imagine? Armenia is close to the west. No one can go to Turkey. To the east as well. No one can go to Azerbaijan. And so you can only go to Georgia up north or down to Iran. And currently we are on the highway to the, ma the main road that goes to Iran. And look at it. And this is it. It's full of speed bumps. Opa. It goes through in the middle through a town. I don't know. And also you see these pipes there, I think it's gas pipes, we're not sure because it would be too dangerous. And they are everywhere, next to the road, above the road, everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> Everyone is always very focused on the road as it should be. And yeah, this is the main highway. Thank you, friendly Iranian truck driver, for letting us out here on Devil's Bridge. We'll now go down to the canyon. And Alex has some cats to pet. He has some nice pools here. So we'll definitely have a shower tonight. And let's see if we can find a camping spot here. Unfortunately, it's too steep here to put up the tent. So we'll just go in for a quick dip and then probably hitch on further and put the tent up again in the dark. That was for sure the so far highlight of Armenia. Right under the bridge there's an amazing canyon and a few teenagers showed us the way down and there's so many cool pools and showers. Look at Alex, she's enjoying herself so much. Hello. And now we're back on the main road trying to find a truck that goes doo -doo 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 up towards the monastery where we hopefully find a nice camping yeah, place. It would have been nice to camp down there but there was just not a possibility, no, no. space, just a canyon, canyon, canyon. <laughs> <laughs> right now we wanted to yeah, find a camping spot, camping spot but there was not even a chance for us to be pick us. <laughs> <laughs> here we've been invited to a picnic mm. on the side of a cliff we thought that we will die <laughs> <laughs> we don't know they we cannot communicate also because I deleted <laughs> Google Translate why ever that was not the smartest move yes so now they told us that we will have dinner at their place but in the end it was a cliffside so we <laughs> so we'll, for young people. Yeah, it's it's very nice though. So we were afraid for no reason. And yeah, now we're digging in. Yeah, and they always want to get us drunk, but we say we are pregnant and now they only try to get me drunk. <laughs> Morning everybody. 
Alex is still sleeping in the tent here. I'm editing some videos. Um, I'm preparing breakfast. Alex wasn't sleeping very well because um, I don't know, the people that were here, they were quite loud at night and it was raining hard as well. Um, but the problem is that I just sleep whatever happens. And yeah, Alex gets a bit annoyed by that because I always am well rested in the morning and she never is. That's why she has to sleep in the car sometimes. So leave her a few more hours, probably rather minutes to get some rest and then we hit the road again. And now our host is from yesterday, gave this to us as a present and it's... It's like raspberry yeah. smashed jam. It's a raspberry smashed jam and she puts it on a table in the sun, lets it dry for two, three days and then rolls it and it's the best sweet ever. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. This truck full of hay stopped for us. I think he's not going far, but maybe he wants to take us. Let's see. Oh, he speaks English. Nice. Woo! Nice. <laughs> Yee -hee! Slowly but steadily up again the mountainous road. We just passed Devil's Bridge where we were yesterday. It took us around an hour to get down, but that's no problem. Our driver is very capable and smokes a lot of cigarettes. <laughs> and yeah, I think it shouldn't take more than an hour to get to the monastery now. And that is the face you make when you see the sixth monastery in 24 hours. <laughs> yes, you might argue that these churches in Armenia all look very similar. And it is true. They are very nice located, however, and they are free, which is very nice, very I think. Nice. And there is something different about every monastery we go to. This, for example, has an upper floor where you can explore the other part of the monastery. It's really cool. <laughs> and we did found a ride that goes all the way to Iran which is amazing for us because that's our next three hours in the same car and it's not a slow truck no, it's and not. we're saying goodbye to the monastery now and to the nice canyon that we crossed already twice and yeah let's go and this guy here was the one that took us to the monastery and after spending an hour or one and a half there we now surpass him oh that was one of the very few times that we actually got out of the car um, this dude was driving like an idiot. Um, he was so tired, he came all the way from Yerevan and he kept driving like this. So we are now in a city where we actually didn't want to stop, but it would have been too dangerous to keep driving. Now he can drive off the next cliff, but he is not at least not endangering us. I was very angry because why would you take someone if if you're that tired? Just make a 20 minute break and sleep in a car. That is super stupid. I think the most dangerous thing when you're hitchhiking. Be always careful about the driver. Check how tired he is. Check if he's drunk or drugged or something. Be absolutely careful about that. And this is one of our final rides. He will bring us now to Mekri, a nice truck driver, but he's an Armenian truck driver, not an Iranian, so he will not go across the border. Um, so we might need one more car to get to our final destination, the river that is the border to Iran. And yeah, then that's it already. Where are you stuck?
stuck down there and I have the power to open the door. <laughs> so my dear friends, this is the beach where we wanted to go to. I did not expect a two meter high barbed wire fence, but you Yay. never stop learning, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the other side here is Iran. This is the border to Iran. Um, I don't know exactly where we'll go now as our target of the day is not reachable. Um, we'll try to find a nice shady place somewhere and then oh, let's see. But it's quite beautiful. <laughs> Mad respect to these guys. They are insane. Mad respect. There's a lot of bike packers here and we really really don't know how to do it. It is almost 40 degrees outside. We have our nice AC and go with 100 an hour and they go like 10 an hour and, and it's I don't know, it's brutally hot. Down, so many vertical down. meters. So thank you very much for joining our hitchhiking diary. Um, it was a bit of a longer vlog. Um, now we'll probably head back towards Yerevan. Any final words? Now that we can't reach our beach, we just turn around without nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed that video make sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for next week's video where we will take you with us on the mighty highest mountain in armenia mount aragats